previously on Lightning Talks to Power. One hour and ten minutes. Hey, what a coincidence. We have the same lunchbox. Can you please help us escape? Get the key, please. Father? What's the occasion? The immature plum dead. You must mean prom, you idiot! We have all of the students in one place at one time. And we need an idea how to kill them all. Maybe they decided to do the bomb the next day. You're right! It has to be today! Yeah! <laughs> Kiora, there's a bomb at Paul Oak Park and I have to go now! Oh. Yeah! Look for a white bag! There it is! <laughs> What's going on? You can't stop it! Like a 
tried everything. She's gone. <laughs> Never give up! <gasps> Come on, girl. Come back to us, girl. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. I can't. Are you okay? Oh my God. Thank you so much for saving my life. I don't know how I'll ever repay you. Kira, I tried, but you wouldn't come back. I told you to never give up. Yeah, like you did on me. Thank you again. What happened here? There was a bomb, and we tried to stop it. Obviously, you didn't. Can you take me home? Sure thing, doll face. <laughs> no! Yo, Vince, man, they're all dead! <laughs> what? Bantu Shadow Jewel, no! Jake, it's no longer our job. It's for the police. Now let's go. <laughs> what are you waiting for, Harpoon? Yo, wait up! <laughs> Guess you're walking home. <laughs> oh man, that was cold. <laughs> it's okay, Thunder. We'll take care of you. Since you lost the bet, where are you taking your big, fat, round, plump of blubber on a date? Clump of blubber? No, I don't lose bets. I don't take blubber girl on date. Well, if you didn't lose, who did? Slowpoke Jen lost bet. Besides, I'm going with Pretty Red Panda on date. Okay, then Jed's taking her. I hope he has a lot of money, because she eats a lot. <laughs> Come on, Jed, it's your turn. Okay, let's see how high I can throw this one. Okay, one, two, three. Uh. Doggone it. Imagine, imagine, move, 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 move. Here comes the winner, top of the pile. Uh. Oh, man. My turn. Come on, Papa needs a bone. Oh. Uh-huh, yeah. What, that's not fair. Yeah, I can't believe this. Do you mind, Jed? No. Oh my god. Ha ha ha. I win. You're cleaning toilets for a week. No, I have one more turn left. Ha ah! ha oh, oh, uh. oh, 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 no. What the heck are you two doing? Did you lose this? Stop playing around. I'm real sorry, Kyle. It was just a friendly bet. Dead bodies ain't play toys! Now get these bodies lined up and cover them with the sheet or I'm gonna tell Chef Rogers! Plain dead bodies, sickos. Uh, uh, finally! It's time to put my plan in motion! Dorothy, time for you to take a little cat nap! And look who I picked up on the way! Little feeble Isabella is going to burn the police station down and die. Oh, what a shame. Hello there, officers. I got Girl Snow cookies here for sale. Sorry, doll. Maybe next time. You sure you don't want to come down and try one? Sorry, we very busy up here. Maybe check police officers downstairs. Okay, if you must stay where you are. What a shame. <gasps> That's awful! You shouldn't be looking at this, ma'am. What can I do for you? I came here to sell you delicious Girl Snout cookies, but something alarmed me when I came in. What was it, ma'am? Well, I don't know if this is important, but... At the front of your station, while I was walking in, I saw a bag behind this bush, and... And what, ma'am? Well, it looked like the blue and white bag at the school that had a... <gasps> there was 
was a bomb in that blue and white bag. You stay here, man. Let's go check it out. <laughs> oh my god! It's a bomb timer, but there's no time on it. This is strange. Oh, Isabella, why would you burn out a perfectly good police station? Oh, that's right. We have to get rid of these bodies. One, two, three. Here's some perfume. Oh, really? I should be up there. Just a little more. All done. What's going on over there? Did someone say there's a bomb? Don't worry, I think it's just a prank! Ah! Oh my god! Whoever pulled this prank's gonna pay! Thank god, at least we didn't get blown up! Yeah, but I think our police station is on fire. What? <gasps> oh my god, fire! Jump! Shoot it! Oh! There's a fire! I came out of the bathroom and I saw a golden retriever start a fire! We need to stop it! No! You'll burn to death! What about the retriever? Here goes nothing! Ah! It's too late! Everyone get back! Paul Oak Sheriff's Department is gone. Should I get more water? Enough. There's no stopping it. <laughs> the smoke is triggering my asthma. I gotta go. <laughs> Wait. I have a question. Why were you using our bathroom? What do you think I was doing? Moving in? Hey, maybe I'll sleep on the toilet. Now I gotta go. I can't breathe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. I really like her. <laughs> Ridley's gotta be around here somewhere. I can smell her. <sighs> Arby and H.M. Let me guess, Ridley Butcher and Harley Moon Dance. I guess I'm gonna have to pay them both a visit. Ugh, what sounds around? I've never been this way before. I'm sorry, I think we're lost. Wait a second, I think I know where we are. I've been here before. This is the end of Rocky Peak, but the beginning of the Enchanted Forest. <laughs> I smell smoke. There might be a wildfire nearby. <laughs> You're right, we have to get out of here. What's this? Oh my god, someone's building a bomb. Just take it, we have to go. Wait, I do know where I'm going, I promise. <laughs> oh, stupid smoke! <sighs> There's a fire nearby. That's all I need. <sighs> oh, Harley Moon Dance's bandana. Looks like I'm right on your tail, pal! Don't worry, Harley. I'll give it back to you in person.
There it is! My beautiful safe house! <gasps> What's a safe house? My safe house, I've missed you! You never told me what a safe house is! Oh, Harley. It's a house we are safe at. Duh! Ah! Oh, the door's jammed! I've got this. Oh, huh, uh. Did she fall on me on purpose? No. Uh. Ah. Nice! Ah, there's a bed in here. Okay... Remember earlier when you asked me what happened to my eye? Yeah? Well... Here's the story. My brother Brock got me involved in some very illegal activities. The final straw is when Brock robbed a convenience store. Welcome to Dingleberries! How may I help you? How late are you open tonight? 8 o'clock p.m. I have a question for you. Do you have any sardines? Why, of course! I love fish in a can! Would you like me to show you where they are? Uh, oh, no, 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 that's okay. I don't want any tonight. <sighs> oh, wait, 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 I have a better question for you. What kinds of food do you have here that you like? I like pig's ear, I like blueberry pie, I like duck, I like cow, I like milk. Did you hear something? Can you please see if someone's there? Yes, let me check. <gasps> and he tricked me because I helped him without even knowing it. No, there's no one there. Well, thank you for telling me what foods you have at your store. Well, what would you like me to get you? Oh, nothing. I'm not hungry. Oh, these anorexic girls these days just don't eat enough. Arr, look at all this stuff I got. What a big score. You tricked me. You told me to distract her so you can go get medicine, but you stole a lot more! I threatened to tell the police if he kept doing this. What did he say? He didn't say anything. He went berserk, and we had a big fight. I won't let you do that! <laughs> <laughs> Arrested for attempted murder. Wait, what happened to you? How did you survive? Who took care of you? You did. Don't you remember? I'm sorry, I don't. Remember I hit my head? Doesn't matter. You're here now, and we have a lot of catching up to do. It's getting hot in here. Holly Moon Dance, I'm gonna kiss your whole face. Oh. Just because you're a wolf doesn't mean you should do crazy stuff! I can jump, you know. Yo, get down from there! Yeah, unless you want to break your neck! Sorry, Midnight, I was just having fun. Whee! <gasps> Whee! Ah! Hee hee ha! 
Oh, God. And then the bomb went off and killed three of my pack members. And it was too late to stop it. I'm very sorry you lost your friends. I'm glad the little ones survived. Did you make a decision? Yes. I've decided to accept Thunder into our Lost Wolves pack. Thank you! I'm so glad he has a new home! <laughs> Jake! Jake! I thought you left! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! What's wrong, little buddy? <laughs> I had a nightmare about when the bomb went off and everyone died! It's okay! Everything's gonna be okay! Jake! <laughs> Oh, excuse me. I never introduced you to our two new pack members. <laughs> I'm sorry. Jacob Larson, Colt McQueen, and Ace Woodland. Nice to meet you, Jacob. You too, Colt. Hello. Nice to meet you. You too. Father, I should have taken the chance of becoming bigger and stronger from the wolf spirits. And I could have saved our friends' lives. It's never too late, son. Alpha Kato, do you know what's going to happen to me? Uh, have you seen two wolves named Alpha Zeke and Zelda? They're my parents. No, I'm sorry I haven't. Thunder, come here. I didn't want to tell you this, but... I saw your parents a few days ago. Where? Were they okay? Well, when I left, they were okay, but they were jailed. <laughs> jailed? By who? A lion named Scar Lava and his evil pack. <laughs> oh no! It's gonna be okay, we'll find them. Jacob, you're going to need all of the strength and power you can get. It's time for you to receive the gifts from the Wolf Tribe Spirits. Fine. What do I have to do? Jake once told me Felix lives in the Enchanted Forest. And it was by a lake. Ah, there's the beautiful lake. There's the big gate! Ah, oh, no! On top of the stupid hill! Oh, oh. Who is this trolling me? My name is Alpha Zelda. I am friends with Jacob Larson. He told me to come and see you if I was in any trouble. Trouble? Friends with Jacob? Say no more, I'll buzz you in. Welcome to the Enchanted Valley Estates. Hello, Felix Harrison. What can I do for you? I'm very sorry about the ravens. They're very harmless. There's so many. What brings you here? Oh my god, I forgot! I'm a wolf, but I was turned into a panther by eating the bug and then I escaped! Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. Slow down. Relax. I want you to come inside, have a cup of tea, and tell me what's wrong. Thank you.
perfecto. Pardon me, Zelda. I forgot to introduce you to my roommate, Harry Hodgerton. Nice to meet you. Likewise. This tea is wonderful. Thank you. It's from England. Those say mayor me out. What's a me out? Me out, me out, in here. He's trying to say in his heart. Oh, that's very nice. Now tell me what's wrong. My howl signifies my acceptance into the ancient wolf spirit tribe. Uh oh. Why didn't it work? I don't know. Alpha Kato? When do I change? I, I don't know. You should have transformed by now, and lightning should have struck. Fine, so it didn't work. Doesn't matter. I'm going after Scar regardless. <sighs> Thank you for letting me try. I'm out of here. <sighs> Jacob, I don't want you going after Scar alone. <sighs> He's going to get himself killed. Wait for me, Jake. I'm coming with you! No! I'm not gonna babysit you anymore, Thunder! You have to stay here! God! But, but wait! Stop! Let him go! This is your home now. Then I escaped the jail in that horrible, disgusting treehouse. You've been through a lot. So what do you want from me? Well, you're Jake's chemistry teacher, correct? Right. You're the only one that I can think of that might have the knowledge to turn me back into a wolf. You have been working on that serum, Felix. Serum? What serum? That serum was made to regrow body parts that have been lost on different animals. I lost me! What was that me? Maybe you can use your serum to change me back to myself! Or... Uh, let me see what I can do. I think I found my lovebirds. Come on, Harley. You can't hide from me forever. <gasps> can't we just take this slow? No! <laughs> Stop smooshing my sister, Harley! <laughs> smooshing her? She was smooshing me! Shut up, Harley. How dare you show your face in my house! I just wanted to say I'm sorry. You haven't talked to me in months! You're sorry? I don't care if you're sorry! Now get out of my house! I'm not going anywhere until you talk to me! I said get out! I don't want to hurt you again! It's not me you have to worry about! <laughs>
song signifies my acceptance into the ancient wolf spirit tribe. <coughs> yeah, I'm gonna go what happened. Shut up, Momo! <coughs> what? <coughs> what was that? Thunder? Thunder, you must have my permission before you seek help from the ancient wolf tribe spirits! I guess it's too late now, isn't it? Why were you two watching the sculpture? I'm so sorry! We fell asleep. <laughs> I'm not sorry at all. I'm out of here. Just because you are bigger and stronger doesn't mean you fight evil alone. Just watch me. I don't need any of you or this wolf pack. Do you want me to go after him? Yes, but keep your distance. He needs to learn a lesson about being on his own. Voila! Oh, I love what we've done to the place. The evil layer is eviler than ever! Yes, indeed. And it's wonderful having you all here. <sighs> huh? Scar? Up here! Uh, more exercising, why? Finally, you're hit. Oh my god. What are you wearing? You look like a nerdy scarecrow from the pumpkin patch home for the elderly. Well, Dorothy Snorton here got a date for prom. And that police station should be a pile of black ash by now. Wonderful. We'll be having a meeting tomorrow morning. Terrence. Make sure you tell everyone to bring their evilest ideas on how to destroy that half-witted, idiotic prom! Gross! What? Sorry, I was holding your foot. Thought it was your paw. <laughs> That's okay, thanks for sleeping on the floor. You're a real gentleman. Yeah, I guess I am. I want to thank you again for saving my life yesterday. No problem. I'd save your life again if I had to. Here's your pillow back. I like the shell. Yeah, isn't it beautiful? My mom gave it to me when I was little. After she died, she left me this house, and this is the one thing I treasure the most. I'm sorry, it must mean a lot to you. Yeah, my mom told me if you put the shell next to your ear, you can hear the ocean. Sometimes, when I put it to my ear, 
I can hear her voice telling me that she loves me and misses me and will always watch over me. <laughs> I'm sorry, I shouldn't have brought this up. It's okay, doll, it's okay. I've got something that'll cheer you up. Listen, I know I'm a few years older than you, but the DJ at your prom next Saturday is a friend of mine, and I'd really like to hear his music. Would you like to come to the dance with me? Oh, and remember, I'm a perfect gentleman. That sounds fun, but I'll only go with you on one condition. Okay, what is it? Remember the shepherd who also tried to save me yesterday? Yeah, what's his name? Jacob Larson, and I think he has feelings for me. And no matter what happens, I don't want you fighting with him. If you will promise me that, then I will go with you. Fine, I'll treat him like he's one of my best friends. I'll give him a lollipop. <laughs> don't worry, nothing's gonna happen. Okay, okay. Look, I gotta go. I got an appointment today. Can I see you later? Maybe I can bring you home some dinner. That would be great. I don't know why all my food went bad. Maybe there's something wrong with my fridge. Wait a minute. I don't even remember the last time I was here. What day is it today? Saturday. Oh my god. The last thing I remember is waking up Wednesday morning with Brock. I'm a fugitive! And I can't remember anything that's happened these past few days. I have to turn myself in. Wait! I have friends at the sheriff's department. Let me talk to them first. If anybody's gonna bring you in, it's gonna be me. There has to be a reason you lost you's memory for three days. And I'm gonna find out what it is. This ain't right. Whoever did this to you is gonna be very, very sorry. Thank you so much. I don't know what I would have done without you. No problem. Now stay here. I don't want you going nowhere. Gather round, my little evil ones. It's time to hear your evilest ideas for the prom. Okay, who would like to go first? Wait, wait, don't start! I'm here. Why are you late? Uh, I'm sorry, Scar. I overslept. I stayed up late last night thinking of the evilest idea ever. Turn around. Do I have to? I said turn around. Me. 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 <laughs> what on earth are you wearing? These pajamas were a special gift from my late mama. Sorry, she wanted a girl. Okay, cutie patootie, get your sissy self in the circle now! Sorry! Like I was saying, who would like to go first? Oh, oh! No! But you say anyone you would like to go first? Anyone! Wearing cutesy sleepwear cannot go first! Me. Can't you see? I'm trying to inspire evilness! I'll go first, yeah? Ha! Okay, Vladimir! <laughs> Zip it! I have a great idea, yeah? I'll build walkie talkie transmitters so we can keep in touch during evil plan! Great idea, Vladimir! Well done! <laughs> 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 Who's next? I have an idea! Oh, here we go! Okay, Susie. Let's see it. I think we should ask all of the students nicely 
to be evil. Why is she even here? I've got an idea, Scar. Susie and I will investigate the ballroom and we'll be disguised as chaperones. And that's a great idea. What an evil day. Oh, I've got an idea. I've got one. Okay, Beagle. Lay it on me. We can turn them all into little mice, and I've got plenty of mouse traps to do the job. Thank God the evil day isn't over. I've got an idea. Finally, someone with brains. I have some magic powder that Shakira and Susie can use to subdue the chaperones. That gives me a great idea too, Scar. I can use the same magic powder to knock out a waitress so I can be inside the prom to help with the evil plan. Ha! What glorious ideas! The evil in this room is oozing! I have an idea. Fine, you've been patient. And if it's good, I'll give you a sippy cup to match your outfit. Thank you. I like a sippy cup. I propose the making of a special bark that once crushed into powder can be put in those little imbeciles' drinks. Which will make them slaves to Scar Lover. Hmm? I love it! This is how I do it. Okay, okay, we get it. Good job. That one's going to be a hard one to top. Anyone? I have an idea. If Alfred can make this precious bark work, Dorothy Snorton can put the bark in their drinks because I'll be there at the prom with my date. Well done, Darian, well done. Great way to expand on Alfred's idea. This is how I do it. <laughs> but it's my idea. Children, children, stop fighting. This isn't a competition. Now I have an idea to tell you all, so open your ears. Alfred, I'd like you to make more of the bark we gave to the scrawny little kitty on the noose. And you, Darian, are going to give it to Jacob, the good Toshus, Larson, and his puny weakling friends. <laughs> but, 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 Scar, that bark killed Ivy! Exactly. <laughs> Is that crying? Didn't I say before there's no crying in the evil layer? Get her out of here now! <laughs> Don't worry, Scar. I'll take care of it. Excuse me, Scar. Sorry to interrupt. Oh, what do you know? Look, everyone. It's Brock. <laughs> Look who came crawling back to Sir Evilness's lair. I'm real sorry, Scar. Ridley's also the definition of a female dog. And I came back here to beg you for another chance. I promise I won't let you down again. Really? Before you start begging, what in the name of evil happened to your ear? Oh, that, uh... I was sleeping in a in a tree, and when I woke up, I fell out, but I was lucky, my ear caught on a branch. It ripped off, but it eased my fall. Oh, really? <laughs> now let this be a lesson learned. If you ever leave the evil layer and come back, I will kill you. Do you understand? Yes, Scar. Good. Now get in the circle and think of an evil idea for prom. Is there any ideas left? Scar, I think Charles Brock and I should be your enforcers and arrive with you at the same point to gather all the student slaves and help you bring them all back to the evil lair. Good thoughts, Clucker. Uh, it's Tucker. Whatever. Next. Jaws has an idea. Listen up, everyone. I'm sure it's gonna involve someone getting eaten. What does everyone think I want to eat other animals? <gasps> Me? Fine. But I'm only eating three of them. Them kids are filling. Thanks for stealing my idea, Scar. So sorry. I hope you had breakfast. Anyone else? I've got a good idea. 
will force the DJ to play horrible music. So everyone will be bored. So they'll have to drink the punch. Never presents an idea at an evil meeting ever again. Sorry. Can anyone please give me an evil idea? I've got an idea. I've got an idea. I think talent should create another smell that's even worse than the other day. This stink will be the most lethal odor that everyone will die from the deadly stinkness. Nala, do you know what the most deadliest stink of all is? No, what is it? Your stinking idea! Oh. You know what? I think I've heard enough. Besides, everyone's had a chance to speak anyways. I haven't had a chance to speak. Ugh. Okay, Natalia, I'll listen to you speak. But if I hear one more horrible, dreadful, and pathetic idea, I'll cut out your tongue and we'll barbecue us for lunch. Proceed. Uh, I don't think you will like it. Good. Cutting out tongues is such a mess. Now everyone, get to work on your ideas. Now it's time to set the evil plans in motion. <laughs> Ever since I woke up this morning, I've been walking in circles. I've been told that this evil clan is staying in a treehouse somewhere deep in the enchanted forest. What would an evil treehouse look like? Squirrel. Hey! You're the evil lion that killed my friends and kidnapped my parents! What a wild imagination you have there, little one. I would never do such a thing. I'm just getting ready for the Halloween party! Five months from now. I don't believe you. Oh, stop it. Why don't you come up for some milk and cookies? I love it when strangers visit the imaginary evil layer suspiciously. You know what's going to happen? I'm going to bring back 20 wolves from my pack, and they will destroy your imaginary evil treehouse. And there will be no way you can s- Wait, what the- Oh! oh ah, I guess we're all out of milk and cookies. Excuse me? Oh, 
Sorry, Scar. I'm having my dinner. The reason why I'm having my dinner up here is because I'm going to check on the prisoner. And I'm going to check on the prisoner right after I ate my dinner. Susie, we don't need a play-by-play -play of your daily activities. Now eat your food and shut up! Thought I was saying... I'm checking on the prisoner now! <gasps> I'm shutting the door now! I'm shutting my mouth now so Scar doesn't kill me! <laughs> oh, he's so cute! <laughs> oh, he has such sweet eyes. <laughs> what did you say? Oh, um, I, I I said, would you like some meat pies? Meat pie? Never mind. Are you okay? <sighs> Where am I? You're in the jail of Doomy Woody, but I brought you some foodie Woody. Thanks. I'll try the meat pie. <laughs> But this isn't funny. Your friends hit me in the face with a brick. Shh. If they know you're awake, they might hurt you. I was just supposed to check on you, not bring you food. So eat up before they notice. <laughs> What's a nice cat like you doing with an evil gang like this? Oh, they're not so bad. <laughs> How old are you? Thanks for the food. How old am I? Well, last night, I was 10, but this morning, I think I'm at least 15. Oh, I know exactly how you feel. I'm 18, but others think I'm 13. My name's Thunder, and I think you're old enough. Oh, my. Now can you get me out of here, Cupcake? Yes. I mean, no. Okay. I mean... Susie, is the prisoner awake? No, he's sleeping. Can't you hear him snoring? <laughs> oh, what a dreadful puny wolf sound. Plug his nose, will ya? Okay. I'm Susie, and I'll see what I can do. This is a long story. Does it have an end? Yeah, and they forced these two wolves to eat this chemically treated bark. And, uh... And what? I know this is hard to believe, but them wolves turned into huge creatures. I don't know what game you're playing here, Quinn, but I'm not buying it. I swears to you, I saw it with my own two eyes. Okay. Say I do believe you. That means all of Paw Oak is in danger. <clears throat> Excuse me, Director Randolph. I have the information that you requested. Thank you. Oh, I almost forgot. I wanted you to meet Agent Quinn from our East Coast field office. The name's Vince. Nice to meet you. Hello, Agent Veronica Randolph. Okay, Agent Randolph, what you got? Well, there's a few random events coming up, but the most prominent and would pique the interest of an evil organization is happening a week from now at Par Oak High School. That's the big prom dance I heard about. Precisely. All of the youngins will be attending the dance at 6 o'clock p.m. in the school ballroom. 
I know this evil group of animals. This is a perfect target for them. But, Director, there's only three of us in this office. We are going to need more field agents. You're right. Good job, Agent Randolph. See if you can get a message to the East Coast Field Office and see if we can get more field agents out here by the end of this week. Yes, sir. I'll hop right to it. Pleasure meeting you, Mr. Quinn. My name's Vince, not Mr. Quinn. What a humdrum plain Jane, Jesus. Do you have a problem with someone who speaks proper English? I's got no problem with that little perfect, proper, purebred lab. In fact, if everything goes right, she'll be Mrs. Quinn by tomorrow. That proper, humdrum, plain Jane that you want to marry happens to be my daughter! Whoops. Excuse me, Director Randolph. We have a problem. Okay, what's the problem? Spit it out! Our police station was burned down last night, and we have no place to conduct police business. Well, you came to the right place. You may use my office for now. Thank you. Settle in, boys! Is there any food here? Now is not the time! Now go make yourself useful, all of you! Hello, Sheriff Rogers. I hope you remember me. Agent Vance Quinn, CIA, East Coast Field Office. Hello again, Mr. Quinn. Mr. Quinn again? Jesus. Agent Quinn and I have reason to believe the students at Paul Oak High School are in danger. What kind of danger are you talking about? I recently infiltrated Scar Lava's gang and all of those snot-nosed kids alone in a ballroom, I know, in my bones, will be the next target. So you're asking help from the Sheriff's Department? Yes, their prom event next Saturday needs to be heavily guarded. No problem. My canine force is at your disposal. Officers, may I have your attention, please? There are eight male canines working in this office, and I have one female canine agent working here as well. If there are any inappropriate comments or actions towards this female agent... Heads. Will. Roll! Am I clear? You're yes, so no clear. You're absolutely clear. And if any of you decide to date Director Randolph's daughter, make sure you don't ask her to marry you. Agent Quinn, enough! And yes, the female agent working here is my daughter. And since Mr. Quinn couldn't keep from flapping his trap, now you know the truth. But know this, she will never be interested in any of you, especially you, Agent Quinn. We'll see about that. <laughs> Zelda, wake up! Zelda, Felix's experiments are finished! How can you see into my eyes like open doors? Leading you down into my Are you sure you want to do this? Yes, I'm sure! I can care less what happens! Alright then, let's give it a try.
Let me see. But I don't remember how to be a gypsy. It doesn't matter. This is who you are, Harley Moondance. Now get out here right now! Hello, handsome. How do I look? Stunning. I can't believe you're back. Well, I'm not going anywhere. Should have come out here looking for Jake. Probably already has a prom date, anyways. Man, I hope Hunter was right. He said Jake would be in these woods. I, you are not prey, you are, uh, a pretty dog. Oh, uh, thank you. I'm sorry I startled you. I've been out here all day looking for my friend. I'll never find him! Maybe I can help you find him. What's his name? Jacob Larson. He's a German Shepherd. Oh, I have seen him. Just about 15 minutes ago, he was by a big white birch tree. Oh, thank you so much. You're a kind wolf. Scary, but kind. Bye now. Shortcut. I know she's gonna be here in a few minutes, but you just need to relax and calm down. Relax and calm down. Me, sorry. Addison? Hi, Jake. I was actually out here all day looking for you. I just ran into this wolf and he told me where you might be. Oh, well, uh, that's weird. Well, I'm here now. What can I do for you? Oh, well, uh, you know I'm new around here. Uh, and I, and I thought that, uh, um, oh, this is so hard. It's okay, Addison. Just tell me. <sighs> Will you go to the prom with me? Uh, uh, oh, yeah, that sounds like fun. Oh, that's great. But I don't want you to think I'm easy. Oh, no, 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 no. I know you're a good girl, Addison. It's just a dance. Thank you. I've got an idea. 
Since I'm gonna be there early helping Miss Shenanigans set up for the prom, why don't you just meet me there at the registration desk at six? I can get two free tickets for helping! Sounds perfect! See you there! Bye, Jake! Bye, Addison! Okay, I have informed my officers where they will be and we arranged a plan for the best way to protect the students at the prom. So, Mr. Sheriff Rogers, is Kiara Joyce still a fugitive? If so, I know where she is and I can bring her in. Oh, I forgot to mention, a witness came forward and cleared her name. Oh, that's great news! Oh, but the fugitive Brock Butcher, a white tiger that has escaped from jail, is still wanted. No problem, I'll keep my eyes peeled. Now I gotta go see someone. Hey Nick! It's Director Randolph Quinn. Sorry, just wanted to make sure you got lunch. I did, thank you. Good, I wouldn't want you to miss any more meals. Very funny, get out of here Quinn. That was a good one. <laughs> There's something about that Italian bull terrier that I just don't like. <gasps> Hello, my name is Kurt Nelson, fire dog at the Paw Oak Fire Department. We have an emergency! What's the emergency? The devastating fire that started at the Paw Oak Sheriff's Department has spread! How far has it spread? Well, it's spread about 70% of Rocky Peak, and it's heading straight for the Enchanted Forest! This is terrible! Let me alert my officers! We'd be glad to help! Go ahead, Duke! Agent Randolph and I will cover the office while you're gone! God help us! Trees around here somewhere. <laughs> yes, that's it. That's the tree. I got it. <coughs> Jake! Where have you been? We've been worried sick about you! I'm sorry, I had to find this bark. I know there's a lot of smoke, but have you seen the size of the fire? Yes, I have, and it's really big. It's burned almost all of Rocky Peak, and it's heading our way! We better get out of here! dinner was wonderful, thank you. Yeah, it's rigatoni, but it's supposed to have meatballs, but... But, but what? Well, I was riding my bike home with the food. I got hungry, so I wanted a meatball. And when I tried to eat one, they all fell and rolled down the stupid hill. If you really want to try one, I can go get them out of the dirt, clean them off, and they'll be good. Uh... Oh! I forgot! I actually have one in my pocket! Uh... It's okay, I licked the clean! No! No thank you, it's fine, I'm full. Next time, I promise, I won't drop some pizza balls. <laughs> You're a real Italian, aren't you? You know, sweetheart. Oh, I almost forgot. 
I got good news. You is no longer a fugitive. Your name is cleared. Oh my god, that's amazing. Thank you. Something's been bothering me, and I need to talk to you about it. Oh, of course. What's bothering you? I heard you escaped from jail, and then a wild wolf was found in your place. <gasps> now, if this wild wolf helped you escape, why would he lock himself back inside the cell and not go with you? <sighs> I know something ain't right. I know you is a good dog, so please, can you tell me what really happened? I'm not gonna tell you! What? I'm not gonna tell you. I'm gonna show you. That white wolf in that cell was not a he. It was a she! Take it easy, it's okay. for me to fight! Who said anything about fighting?
I remember when you got that scar. We were hunting for food and... Tell me again how you found me, Scar! Okay, but for the last time! We were camped out and my mother Savannah was laying down and letting my brother and sister and I drink her milk. And all of a sudden, a little wolf pup walked up and started drinking her milk with us. That was me! Exactly! I was so surprised in the morning when my father discovered you and you weren't eaten. Turns out my mother wouldn't let him. And then she took me in and raised me with the lion cubs. And you're my brother, right? Yes, yes, I'm your brother. Now let's continue the hunt for dinner. Yes, I remember it like yesterday. Then we cornered that fox. Oh, yes. Do you remember what happened next? I'll never forget it. I know he's small and scrawny, but he'll be a good appetizer before dinner. You can't date me! This is out for Kato's territory! I'm good friends with the German Shepherd pup that he knows! If Kato finds out you hurt me, he'll kill you! He was just with me! I know he's around here somewhere. Oh, I'm so sorry. But we're really hungry. Scar, this Kato sounds kind of scary. Maybe we should hunt down a different prey. He'll say anything to survive! <gasps> now, if you really want to prove you're one of us, then kill him! Let's go, good job! Please don't eat me! <laughs> He was just about to kill you! Oh, I know, but this wolf was raised by a pack of lions and he's being pressured to join them! Fine. I'll let them live. You'll never be one of them! You're a wolf! They're my family! I'll never be like you! I never want to see either of you on my territory again! I'm sorry, it won't happen again. Wait, one more thing. Tell the leader of your lion pack that I will be spreading the word that you're turning a wolf against its own kind. If you continue to raise him like a lion, he will be hunted down and killed. Felix, go find Jacob. We've killed lots of prey for dinner tonight, and you both need to eat. Thank you, Alpha Kato. Oh, so it's okay for your kind to kill prey for dinner tonight while my family starves? You sicken me! <sighs> Better get out of here now, before I change my mind! A wolf being raised by lions. He'll never be loyal. 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 I'm sorry. You know it broke my evil heart when we had to kick you out of the lava family of lions. It's okay, old friend. I know it wasn't your fault. You'll never guess what wolf pack I'm a member of. You're right. I won't. So tell me. The Lost Wolves Pack. And their pack leader is none other than Alpha Kato. No. You've wanted revenge all these years. Yeah. And you're gonna help me get it. She's one of a kind, that dog. Smoke! Oh, man! Oh, Jesus! Oh. 
What's wrong? There's a huge fire right over the mountain. What? Relax. I want you to get all your stuff together. I'm gonna go check and see how close the fire is. Stay where you are. I'll be right back. Ow! Window! Don't do that! Maybe you should just go out the front door. You think I'm afraid of some window? Oh! In your face, window. Oh my god, what am I going to do? This is a disaster. Oh god, do I even have a suitcase? Understand. What does this animal want? You there! Don't be afraid. I just want to talk to you. What? Oh my god, where could she have went? Wait! And what's the feather news of death? Why, it's a necklace, my dear. And you're wearing it. Oh my god! Get this thing off me! Wait! Don't take that off! <laughs> Why not? Because there will be dire consequences if you do. I don't even remember who gave me this necklace or how I got it. It doesn't matter! Animals 
have worn the necklace? How come I haven't died? Let me explain how the felony so death works, my dear. The necklace's curse can only be used three times each year. After someone wears it and dies, it must be used again on another within three days. Or the curse will be broken. But what about me? You're not telling me why I survived the curse! It's my understanding that your good friend Alison Carly tried the necklace on briefly, just before Aster Crystal's death. And she became the second victim. And Ivy Sterling was the third. Whoever gave you the necklace? Thought you were the third victim and wanted you dead. So what are you saying? I have to wear this necklace forever? What if it falls off or something? What are the dire consequences you're talking about? This has never happened while using the curse was in the last two centuries. But lucky for you, there is only one course of action that allows you to live. What is it? You must find someone else to wear the necklace within 30 days. During those days, the necklace may not be removed. Right? But of course not! 